Yay, I get to go into the office today and do some dimensioning. Said nobody ever. <laughs> That's because dimensioning is so tedious. But not with the new one-stop shop dimensioning tool that is inside of one of the latest releases of AutoCAD. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, it's this guy right here. On the annotate tab of the ribbon, this is the cool dimensioning tool that's gonna to totally change your view on dimensioning. Let me show you. All you have to do is click on the tool and then select the object that you want to dimension and pick where you want the dimension to go. It's that simple. All you do is select what you want to dimension, pick where you want the dimension to go. Super easy. Does it get any easier than that? Just hammer those dimensions out. You want to dimension uh, a circular staircase, no problem. Just select, in this case, the circle. Pick where you want the dimension to go. Oh, I really want a radial dimension. No problem. All you have to do is move your cursor down to the command line and click on radius, and it will switch it over to radius. Doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, I don't really want to dimension the entire object, or maybe I want to do angular dimensioning, no problem. I just select two objects that are not parallel, and it's going to know, because it's brilliant that you really want to do angular dimensioning. All right, pick where you want it to go. It's going to know. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's see what else can it do. I'm going to dimension this object right here, and then I'm going to drop it right on top of this dimension. I can hear my drafting teacher crying right now, <laughs> breaking a drafting rule. So take a look at, the, look at the screen. It says, do you want it? move this dimension away? Do you want to break it up, replace it? Let's try and move away. Now take note. The dimension that I just placed wins. Its location stays firm. The other dimension is moved away. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do another dimension like this guy right here. I'm going to place it right on top of this dimension. Once again, breaking all drafting rules. This time I'm going to say break up. And please note that it places it inside of the other dimension, right? It does basically a continued dimension. does another right dimension style, but, you know, we could fix that. But nevertheless, this dimensioning is smart. It has a high IQ as well. It, that was easy. I was able to knock out all of these dimensions ever so quickly. All right, one more tip. I can't help but show you one more tip. Incidentally, it takes an extra enter to get out of this dim mode. I'm in a special dim mode where all kinds of great dimensioning things happen. An extra enter gets you out, an escape gets you out. No worries. Um, let me show you one other very cool thing. This is one of the top Augie wish list requests, Autodesk User Group International. I can come up here, I can double click on this text, and then I can type in Augie wish list. In fact, let's delete that other text that's in there, the actual value. <laughs> Please note, we now have a slider bar that allows us to control the width of the text. Have you been waiting for that? If nobody told you about that, I bet you wouldn't even know. How fabulous is that? All right, these are all great features that you have as a result of the most recent release of AutoCAD, so make sure you try them out today. All right.